Okay, so this is an unboxing video. I ordered some stuff from Took, and uh, it I think it's going to be really good, and I thought I would share. Ooh. Which way to open it? <laughs> I like the, the plastic bag. It's pretty. I'm just trying to open I know it's paper inside, so I'm trying to be really... Really, really careful, I don't like what you'd say. One. Well, we can say it's wrapped really well, first of all. With uh, everything that's going on in the world right now, I cannot go out and shop and root around antique shops or I suppose I could go on eBay, but I, I try to find only Canadian stuff on eBay because shipping is crazy expensive from the States. Uh, let's see what we got here. Paper bags are always useful. <laughs> So well wrapped, Duke. I'm just trying to be really, really careful. And you know I'll use this paper for something. Beep. All right, so we got some really cool, oh, that's really cool paper. That's really neat. All right, so we got the Galaxy Magazine, 1875. Look at that, that's so cool. Um, That's going to be so cool to make some journals with. I love the old paper. The way it's so soft over there, on the sides and everything. Ah, that's that. And an old magazine. Oh, cool. This is really neat. I didn't ask for anything specific. I just asked her to pick out what she'd like to send me. So uh, the Galaxy, just anyone was, was good for me. I'm not picky. This is a really nice magazine. Oh, drool, drool. I ordered uh, a couple of these. These are all her old papers. Ledger papers and stuff. Look at this. Oh my God, look at that handwriting. That is so cool. Look at that. Oh. So neat. It is going to be hard to use, but it's a nice fresh ledger. A bank. Bank papers. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at that handwriting. Just gotta love that, right? Isn't that gorgeous? Cool. And another one that will be similar. Lots of ledger. Look at all that. I just love this handwriting too. And the way that it's all aged around the edges. And this is so nice. I can't read it. <laughs> I suppose if I put it underneath my microscope, uh, my uh, magnifying glass, I probably. John Cook. Dr. William B. Dyer. Oh, doctors. 
very, very cool. And in here, another set of papers that I ordered. Oh, that's adorable, Teak. That is really, really sweet. I'll keep that for my journal. Old books, pages. <laughs> Hymnal book. Oh, cool. Oh, that's neat. Love that. A big children's book. Now that's not politically correct anymore. Oops. Spanish conquest. Look at this. It's pretty neat. All these different stories. That's very cool. And more ledger, which is always, always welcome. Oh, parchment paper. This is really, really nice. Look at this paper. Color plant ones. I don't have any color plant ones. This is so neat. I just finished a garden one. <laughs> have to make another one. Oh, French. That's always cool. The niece of the doctor? Oh, a German one. Look at that. That's going to be something to look for. Through. Another one. You know you love paper when you see stuff like this and just drool. Look at that. That is so, so cool. Oh, <laughs> I got some piano rolls. Oh, that's so cute. Um, I don't think I told Tuke. I have 20 rolls of this. <laughs> uh, it'll all get you, so no worries of that. And some, there's some nice old ledger as well. And a music sheet. These are lovely. Thank you, Took. I really appreciate this and everything that you've done so far to help me with my little my little business getting off the ground. Anyway, that's Took stuff, and it's a lot of stuff. It really is. It's, you know, it, it, there's no shortage here. I did order a couple, but there's no shortage of stuff here, and it's wonderful. Thank you.